good morning. Uh, it's 10 to 8. I'm just uh, making my way to the washroom. And uh, slept okay. I was up quite a bit during the night, but in between I slept all right. I finally managed to get the uh, temperature just right in the tent so it wasn't too hot and it wasn't too cold. And uh, that was nice. I didn't burn very much wood at all. Um, it's kind of gloomy here. It's supposed to snow and then it's supposed to rain a little bit later um, for a couple of hours, but mostly snow today. So I'm excited to see that. Oh, good morning from George Lake. Beautiful, beautiful view here. It's a little bit windy. It's a bit chilly. It feels like minus 12 right now. But it's just gorgeous. Super, super quiet. And look at this view. Well, it's 10 to 9 and uh, I'm all warm and cozy here in the hot tent. Um, it was really, really, really hot. I've had to close the dampers again, but I need to open them up and I'll probably have to open the door because I'm going to make breakfast. Uh, I got up this morning with the idea to jump in my clothes, grab a few snacks and head out and do the crack um, early. But um, I also want to do the Granite Ridge Trail and... I know that once I go out there and walk out to the office and jump in my car and drive to the crack and I'm already out there, I'm just going to want to stay out there and then I'm going to end up missing my breakfast and not having enough food or energy. So I'm going to take the time to make my big breakfast first and uh, then I'll head out and do the trails after and I'll still bring some lunch and some snacks with me uh, to have while I'm out. But this way I'll have a nice big breakfast to give me lots of energy. Um, so I'm going to get that ready and I'll be back in a bit. All right, it is 10 after 9 and uh, things are moving along here. Um, I quickly put the cookie sheet on the stove after I filmed that last video. I uh, put the breakfast sausages on and a piece of toast, which has toasted nicely without even putting any butter on there. Um, I have my pan here ready for my eggs. And down here I have my somewhat organized mess. Uh, I sliced up some extra old cheddar, got some diced ham. There's some butter here that I'm using to cook and I also have some strawberry jam for my toast. And I just put my eggs in my cup here and scrambled them. Um, I'm probably going to make an omelet. It's the cleanest thing to do uh, when you have dishes that you're gonna be needing again. Um, I don't think I actually will need this pan again, but just in case. Uh, it just makes it a lot cleaner. Scrambled eggs usually turn out a little bit messier. All right, uh, moving right along here this morning. Um, the sausages are nicely browned and they're um, pretty much cooked now. I moved the little pan over on top of the main part of the stove here and I've just got the ham in there with a little bit of butter um, frying up and now I'm going to pour my eggs in there. Hopefully I can get a nice clean omelet. It doesn't get stuck or anything, but it's not a Teflon pan, so sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. All right. Here we go. All right, here we go, wish me luck. It's a little bit bigger than the pan and the spatula is not my biggest one, so hopefully I can flip it, I don't know. We'll see. Hey, that worked really well. Nice, okay my cheese on there. All right, I'm gonna close it up. Cheese to melt. Because of the ham, I'm not gonna put any salt on it. It's just probably tons of it in there. 
pan is nice and clean. I just got to melt the cheese and I'm all set. Yum. All right, there's my breakfast. It looks pretty good. It smells amazing. And uh, I'm going to start dampering down the stove so it'll uh, cool down and pretty much almost go out um, so that it's not going when I'm away. Uh, I just put the pan and the cookie sheet out in the snow just to cool it down and then it'll get returned to here. The little pan fits in my bear vault. Uh, the cookie sheet will probably just sit uh, on here. I'm going to wipe it down with the J cloth and then the J cloth will go uh, in the bear vault and uh, that should be fine. All right, there's my breakfast already, and uh, I'm going to eat before it gets cold. Well, it's just going on 10 o'clock and uh, finally cooled the tent uh, enough to close the door. Um, the fire, there's just some red embers in there now. Um, I've closed the dampers and uh, that's going to be done for the day. And uh, I'm just changing uh, my under layers and getting myself ready to uh, head out to hike the crack. So I'm just about ready to go. I packed a bunch of stuff in my day bag. I've got some food and some snacks. And uh, I'm gonna fill up my water bottle at the office because they have um, a little tap there inside. And I figured why not and just conserve my water here. Uh, I'm probably gonna need most of it to put the embers out in the fire pit when I clean out the stove tomorrow morning. So um, yeah. That's about it. Uh, just tidied up a bit here. I took the um, sleeping bag and my pillow and my jacket off of the bed uh, just in case it does rain while I'm out. It's not supposed to. It's not supposed to rain until later. Um, hopefully it doesn't rain at all but in case it does and it does leak uh, that way my sleeping bag is protected. I just put it in a big garbage bag and uh, I put it in this bin here. Um, that I brought the firewood in just to kind of keep it there and that way um, if my tent does leak uh, my thermo rest I can just flip it over and I can just use the sleeping bag uh, it'll be nice and dry so should be fine but I just want to take extra precautions just in case better safe than sorry always especially when you're winter camping all right it's quarter after 10 um, just put a garbage bag over the thermo rest and pulled the uh, ridge rest on top. Um, that's easier to dry if it gets wet. Um, again, just extra precaution. Uh, bear vault is locked underneath there. Um, and I put a bag over top of my pack. Um, everything else is pretty much protected except the firewood, which doesn't really need to be. And um, the stove is already, uh, it's just a little bit warm. Um, and I also put the elbow pipe on. Um, it doesn't actually fit very well because I usually use another two pipes on the side of this. Um, but I couldn't get the poles in the ground. Um, it's rock here, frozen. I don't know. I'm still, I still can't believe I got the stakes in yesterday. So um, I couldn't put the poles in. They're actually sitting over there in the sled. Um, so I just kind of sat this inside. Just in case it does rain, um, that way it'll keep the water from going down in the pipe and, and into the tent. So, all set here. Got my bag packed and uh, I'm off for an adventure. I'm just walking through this beautiful winter wonderland. Uh, I just checked the weather. It says it's supposed to start snowing around noon um, because the temperatures are warmer. Uh, it's about minus five right now. It feels like minus seven, um, but it's supposed to get up to zero this afternoon. So even if it doesn't rain and it snows, the snow will melt into the tent and make it wet. So all I have to do is have a really good hot fire when I get back and that should dry the tent right out and it'll also roast me. So I um, haven't decided if I'm going to bring some wood back, I brought extra wood and I put it in the car just in case because I knew I'd have access to the car. Um, but I didn't bring the toboggan with me. Uh, there are toboggans there, but I was looking at the wood this morning and I'm pretty sure I have enough uh, until tomorrow when I get ready to leave. I was only burning one piece at a time last night and then closing the damper and 
it was just like warm enough. It was about 12, around 12, 13 degrees in the tent most of the night. And it was just comfortable where I could put the sleeping bag over me a little bit and uh, not be roasting. So it's kind of tricky when it's uh, when you're hot tenting and it's not super cold out. It's almost better if it is a bit colder because then you're more comfortable in the tent. Um, but because it hasn't been very cold, it's uh, making it really, really, really hot in the tent. All right, it is about 20 to 11 and I am at the trailhead to the crack. I'm super excited to see it in the winter. Um, I am currently camping at George Lake in the hot tent and uh, just came over here to do a day trip today. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this a separate video or not, so just in case I uh, thought I'd fill you in on where I was and what was happening. So um, let's get going, I'm excited. So when I got in my car at the campground, um, there was freezing rain on my window and uh, it's actually spitting out. It's supposed to start snowing at noon, but I actually feel like I'm getting misted on. Um, I do have my rain shell with me, um, so I think I'm gonna put it on over top of my uh, Patagonia right now. Here's all the warnings for the crack so you can see them on your way in. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm super excited to um, pass Kakakais Lake um, because I did the portage from there into Killarney uh, not too long ago. I think it was October or November. Um, so that's kind of cool uh, to see it again from this perspective, um, coming through the trail instead of doing the portage. I'm also curious to see the portage in the snow and uh, see what that looks like. Uh, there isn't a ton of snow but there's enough and uh, just got my ice cleats on. Uh, it's not enough snow for snowshoes. My hip and my quad aren't too bad today. Um, my quad is a little bit more sore than my hip. I took a bunch of Tylenol last night and uh, did my best to rest it uh, as much as I could. It definitely feels better than it did yesterday. Um, so that's good. And hopefully it doesn't bother me too much today. I knew that there was a risk of it becoming more aggravated. I decided to do this trip but I wasn't gonna stay home for the whole break and not go out especially with things as they are I don't know if things are gonna get shut down again and I didn't get to camp in the snow last year at all I camp with the hot tent twice in the fall with the canoe uh, last year but I never never got to camp in the snow because of all the restrictions so I'm happy at least I got to do it once hopefully I'll get to do it a bunch more I see a lot of uh, toboggan tracks here. Um, I'm having a really hard time believing that I came in here and pulled all my stuff to Sealy Lake from the parking lot in minus 40 temperatures. I really don't know how I did that. That was a really, really hard trip. By the time I went to grab my jacket to put it on, it stopped raining. And I've been walking for about 15 minutes and now it's starting to rain again. It's just spinning, uh, really misty. And it's not too bad. I have extra jackets in the car, so I'm not too worried about getting wet. Um, unless it starts pouring, then I'll put my jacket on, but otherwise I'm good. I don't want to be too hot either. I'm already sweating, so. Yeah. These trees are just magnificent. I <sighs> love them. There's like a big group of birch trees here and they're just so pretty. I love birch trees. Oh, 
Uh, a couple of minutes ago, I passed the turnoff uh, that I took to Sealy Lake. Doesn't look like anyone's been down there. Um, trail has narrowed down a little bit in the last little while, and uh, still very packed down and easy to walk on, and uh, no issues. Still dripping and uh, misting out a little bit too. It's not snowing. I wish it was, but it's not. So this is Kakakais Lake, and uh, just up there is where I paddled to get to the portage to Killarney. Um, I didn't go this far, this trip but I have paddled in here before. A waterfall there, not too much, but it's pretty cool with all the ice formations. Well, I got to the bridge and there were two young girls uh, taking pictures and they were super quiet. So I got to film and everything. And uh, the people that were behind me, that were being really loud, they just stopped. I don't know if they turned around or if they were waiting um, for me to finish. Uh, if they were, thank you, I appreciate it. And uh, now we've got a nice buffer between us. It's really cool, this little bridge boardwalk that I'm going over. Beautiful bicycles up on the mountains. Just gorgeous. view of Kakakais Lake and behind here. I still haven't passed the uh, portage turn off. So I don't remember any of this from the summertime. Well, it was actually fall, but I can't imagine pulling my toboggan through all this. Some people have, it looks like. This is so pretty. Winter Wonderland. Oh, I've just located the portage that I took from Kakakais to Killarney. It's right here. Nice place to do a cold camping trip. If I just had the backpack, I could go up there pretty easy. Beautiful view of Kakakais there. I'm just about to pass where I docked the canoe. This looks like it was pretty icy before the snow fell. A lot of ice underneath. There's the sign, Kakakais Lake. I never know if I'm saying that right, but I can't figure out any other way to say it. There we go. The canoe was right there. Oh, somebody's camping over there. There's a tent. path there but not too bad just past the girls they stopped to have a snack and they let me go ahead so I can film it's really really nice of them they're from Sudbury here for a day trip so far so good and a couple of uh, slick spots though. Glad I got my ice cleats on, but I wish I had some more sturdy ones. A little bit more spiky. 
I have good traction. A beautiful little frozen waterfall on the side of the, the cliff. It's beautiful. All right. I'm at one of the spots where you have to go uphill. I've come from way down there. And it does like a little zigzaggy pattern. <sighs> this should help get my legs in shape. <sighs> Now, when I was paddling through Kakakais on my canoe trip, there were two waterfalls that came out over the rocks that I took videos of, and I have a feeling that's one of them. <laughs> it seems I was totally wrong as to where I thought I was there a little while ago. I thought I was coming up to a bunch of rocks I had to climb up, but I'm on the trail again, so... I've hiked the crack three times, um, but never in the winter. I don't know what's happening. Oh, it's a trail reroute. So they're rerouting the trail. I was confused. I thought maybe I was off because it looked like I was supposed to go that way, but. Now I'm going this way. Lots of trail markers everywhere. Oh, there you go. Up, up, up we go. This is the spot where I have the picture of me climbing up this. <laughs> Lots of ice here. Glad I got my cleats on. Most of the important parts where you have to step, there isn't snow or ice, so that's very helpful. Up, up, up we go. Got some little, uh, Tedious, slippery steps here, but still pretty good. Starting to get a really nice view here. <laughs> It'd be better if there was a bit more snow, but quite beautiful. All right, getting close. There's a couple in front of me and the girls are a bit behind me. So I'm just trying to take my time, give everybody space. Um, I just came through that. Hang on, I'll turn the camera around. Well, this is where I'm headed. And this is where I came from. Down there, through there. <laughs> All right, onward and upward. This is exciting. I'm so glad I did this. Uh, I really enjoy camping at uh, Mew Lake in Algonquin for Christmas and New Year's time, but I like to do different things and I've never done this. So it's really nice to be able to camp here and have the opportunity to do some trails I've never done before. And, well, I have done it, but not in the winter and to see new things. That's, that's what I enjoy, exploring. All right, here's my next little set of stairs. Uh, yes, I've broken it down into steps like I did for Bridal Veil and Fat Man's and Center Falls. Uh, it's kind of like doing a portage in the winter without a canoe. <laughs> All right, trail is getting a bit icier. I'm trying to do some walk arounds. I think I'm almost there. <laughs> Keep saying that. Hey, you're almost there. Oh. All right, I believe this is the beginning of the end. A very, very narrow passageway. 
takes you the last little part of the way to get to the top. I think. <laughs> All right, so I just went through the narrow chasm here where the big boulders are. And uh, now I'm waiting to go up through this part. Just waiting for the couple in front of me. She's doing great. She's never been here before. All right, I just climbed up through that. And I'm going through this. Uh, I think I'm almost there. There's the drop. I just came up. <laughs> and I don't know where I'm going here. I put my phone away. All right. Just came down and through this. Look at these rocks. They're magnificent. Okay. And up through here. All right. It is 12.30 and here is the view from the top of the crack. Absolutely stunning. Oh, I'm just making my way back down the trail. Um, I'm hiking with Gabriella and Jarek, they're from Mississauga, and I uh, met them up at the top. They were in front of me for uh, just the last little, maybe 20 minutes or so, and um, they took a picture, a couple pictures for me, and I took some pictures for them, so uh, I was getting really chilly up at the top after uh, doing all that sweating, so um, crawled down on my hands and knees and on my bum through most of that hard part. Um, there was one rock. I remember that bugger from the summer. It's a really treacherous rock and uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it down that sucker but I did and now we're just in the regular trail part and um, it's just starting to snow a little bit. It's really pretty. I wish it would have snowed while we were up at the top but I think it probably would have uh, made it not as clear for the pictures. I can't believe how beautiful it was up there. I'm really, really happy with the view. Didn't think it was gonna be that nice in the winter. Anyways, um, you guys seen most of this on my way in, so I'm not gonna film too much on the way out. Just thought I'd check in for a second and uh, I'll come back in a bit. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.